Welcome to NFI Online Video Tutorials. This one is the Silo Simulator. Okay, this is also controlled by Alan Bradley PLC, and we have to simulate this environment using some ladder logic, just like the earlier one. So I'm going to make uh, one recipe here. Although we have three stages A, B, C, so I'm going to make one stage in which what we have to do is this: when we have to press the start, this will start the conveyor, and the box will lined up here. And when the box reach at this sensor, when this sensor gets on, it's the proximity sensor. Now, if you know proximity is sensors are of various different types one is inductive one is capacitive one is photoelectric so it can be of uh, any different types as a simulator so what happen is when this box is running on the conveyor when the box reaches at this point when the sensor senses this box this, sh this motor should stop okay and the filling should start filling will start when you turn on this cylinder or solenoid valve okay when this is open this liquid will flow down on the box and this level sensor is to sense the level of the liquid when it is 100% filled or 90%. You can uh, vary the with the position of the sensor to uh, to sense the liquid. So when the liquid is filled, this conveyor should run again and the box should pass away. Then the next box will come, the liquid will be filled and it will pass away. So this is the step we have to do in this programming. <coughs> so now here I'm going to use latch and latch and unlatch commands. In last simulation we have done NO and NC so here I'm giving you some uh, demo about how to use latch and unlatch which will make the program pretty easy okay so let's take the start address first start address is one colon one slash zero so I'll take here first NO I colon one slash zero not one it's I so using this switch I'm going to set the motor which is O colon two slash zero now to set the motor or you can say latch the motor we have to use this output latch command here okay I'm going to take a command O colon 2 slash 0 enter so let's see what will happen by just this line download to PLC go to online run now when I press start you'll find motor is running because this has set O to colon 0 and you can actually decrease and increase the speed using this kind of okay so I'm going to minimum speed so this motor is running now next step is when the sensor is on you can see this energization of the sensor when the box reach at this point we have to shut off the motor okay also we need to stop the motor using stop switch so we have two switch which will stop the motor I'm going to offline okay now this is the second rung second later here I will take first is the stop this is the NC already NC so I'll take NC here okay now this will be open because this is NC switch outside the panel so we have to take NC and we'll use unlatch so here I'll give address of NC switch which is I colon one slash one this is the address now the unlatch of motor so I'll drag this address over here this will unlatch the motor so let's check also I need to add a sensor in the parallel now we will add the pulse of a sensor not the contact of the sensor I'll tell the reason later on why I'm using that so I'm taking here no contact of sensor first I call in one slash three and a command which is called OSR one shot rising here I'll take an address of bit we have internal bits in the Ellen Ridley PLC which are designated by B3 colon zero slash zero zero slash one if you want to see the table you can see from here this is the binary bits B3 colon zero slash zero slash one and two and so on these are the bits okay if you see the binary these are the bits this is the bit which I have used p3 colon 0 slash 0 this is the bit which will just give a pulse to the unlatch command even when the sensor is on for like 10 seconds but it will just give a pulse because we need a pulse here I'll tell you why so I'll go to download to PLC and I'll go to online run now this is start and this is stop now I have used pulse so that I can start it again okay if I don't use pulse here I cannot start the motor because unlatch command has higher priority over latch command that's why I use start so that I can again start the motor because the sensor will be on for like one more second when the box crosses that sensor okay now at this stage when the motor is off what we, what we need to fill the tank okay the stop switch okay if I start and I can use stop stop the box okay so 
I'm just showing you the function of star. Okay. So now let's go to offline. Now at this stage, what we want, we want to fill the tank. Okay. So okay, here. I can take one more rung. Oh I, what we can do is let's use this switch outside. Mm. Okay, what I'll do is I'll take another NC here and I'll delete this one. Because we need to do something with uh, let me see the address first. I call it one slash one. We need to add commands to in the parallel of these two contacts. That's why. But we don't want NC to be there. Stop switch. So I'll separately write this NC switch of this uh, stop switch, NC bit of the sort stop switch to unlatch the motor again. Okay. Now here I want to start filling. So I'll take in parallel of this output like this because as soon as this box stops we need to start filling okay so we'll take set or latch o colon 2 slash 0 1 we'll do latch here I'll take o colon 2 slash 1 enter okay this will start filling the tank okay now when the tank is filled we'll get a sensor value we'll get the sensor to be on the sensor will be on okay at that point we want to stop filling alright so I'll take one more letter and I will write no contact of the sensor so this will be I colon 0 slash 4 or oh, it's 1 slash 4 but this one I'm going to enlarge the filling so enlarge the slashed output when the unlashed is done okay what we need next is to start the box again when the box is filled, motor should run again. Okay, so we will take in parallel of this one. Oops, not here. We will take parallel. And we will latch the output of motor again. So I'm going to take a latch. I'll take an address. O column 2 slash 0. This is the address. So let's see the whole operation. We can also take one shot rising here but uh, yeah we should take one shot rising but I don't think it's necessary we can also do that without one shot rising so download to PLC go online run let me first reset the simulation okay now download to PLC again go online and run and press start now we'll see the whole thing happening. First the box is coming, next it's being filled and then the motor is running. So that's the whole operation in just a few letters. Set using set and reset. This can be done using NO and NC command as well but this will make this circuit more easy using set and reset or you can see latch and unlatch commands. And if I press stop, it will stop and on pressing start it will start again. I can stop and I can start. Okay, if you have this ebook of the simulator, you may find different situations, different cases in which if you press B, then this simulation should not happen like this. You should have a different concept of running this whole uh, process animation. If you press C, then this box should bypass the sensor, it should keep on running. So, you must try those simulations as well. It will help you to learn more about latch and unlatch and how to make recipes using selector switch. That's a selector switch. So that was all about Silo Simulator in which we saw how the box is being filled using sensors and how we are automating this process. Thank you and if you have any query post a comment or write me to my email ID you may mention in the website. Thank you.